like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars number one light the first key that controls bible faith is light the power of knowledge put light slash knowledge light knowledge knowledge of what the promises of god knowledge of what the principles of the kingdom light you dominate with respect to the kind of spiritual illumination that you have please listen to me listen very carefully you will never rise beyond the level of light and illumination that you have psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course our fathers have cried over the issue of light high level spiritual illumination the opening of a man's eyes to know the ways of god i've taught you here every koinonia service is a feast of light god opening our eyes it takes light to turn night to day it does not just take time it takes light you can be in a dark stadium and then on all the lights and the lights can come with a coordinated effort and turn that night in that stadium to look like day that people can play a football match in the night and yet when you are viewing you think it is day because of the level of light that is there everybody say light hmm. most believers are ignorant of the promises of God most believers are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom it is the reason why many people cannot manifest Bible faith question what do you know that God has said concerning your finances what do you know that God has said concerning your excelling in life what do you know that God has said concerning victory over demons over principalities and powers your faith must be based on what God said question do you know what he has said and do you know all he has said because he did not just say one thing alone I have taught you here when Satan came to Jesus the reply of Jesus was it is written it is written man shall not live by bread it is written it is written it is written even when he was manifesting his purpose and destiny lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will there are things that have been written concerning you do you know them can I tell you this it was not apostle Paul that wrote them it was not Peter that wrote them it was not the minor and the major prophets that wrote them holy men wrote as they were inspired it was the Holy Ghost speaking through the mouth and the hands of men. I know what he has said. That I shall be the head and not the tail. I believe it. That I will be above and not beneath. I believe it. Listen. Make up your mind to be childlike when it comes to the issue of faith. There is no big manism with faith. Many times the things of faith look very elementary. So many people in, a, in an attempt to show maturity, they ignore these things to their peril. It is this childlike approach that has produced giants of faith. When you listen to fathers like Papa Copeland teaching on faith, sometimes it's so elementary it looks like they are just... It's like, it's like a kindergarten kind of thing. Yet you look at the results. They have defended their understanding of faith for decades. And they are still doing it. Are we learning? Everybody say light. 
this year you must make up your mind make up your mind that your eyes and your ears will remain gates that will be flooded with light so that your destiny will be able to command results when you know little you cannot do much with little this is a kingdom that is knowledge dependent this is the kingdom that is knowledge dependent dear people of god go and find out let me tell you this there is a kind of knowledge that you need how to know what you don't know you have to learn how to know what you do not know how to find out what you do not know don't wait for knowledge to come and meet you search for it my finances is not working and you can take a day or two listen to me in prayer and fasting maybe you are a man of god and ministry is struggling financially deal with it so that it does not distract you in the future you don't want to have to manipulate people because of financial pressures open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things from out of thy law lord i want to walk in integrity as a minister open my eyes to sort this area once and for all and light from heaven you will see something you have been looking at but was not seen and when you stand on the strength of that light he said right prosperously because of truth when you find truth they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh i look at my life today and with all humility i thank god for the time and the attention i gave to certain things i am grateful to jesus for granting me that attentiveness ministry today would have been a disaster if these keys were not found let me charge you therefore some of you may need to minimize running around and sit down it is time to feast on light light with proof are we together you're a man of god and it looks like the supernatural manifestation of the hand of god is not seen in your life no miracles no signs and wonders you can stay with the word What is the second key to producing Bible faith? Meditation. Meditation. First Timothy chapter 4, please, from verse 15 to 16. Let's hurry up so we can pray. First Timothy 4, 15. Read with me, please. Koinonia is projected. Ready? One to read. Meditate upon these things. Uh -huh. Give yourself wholly to them that by profiting may appear to all meditate on these things meditate on these things do you know what it means to meditate to meditate means to ponder until understanding is established to meditate does not just mean to look uh -uh. the goal of meditation is to produce understanding knowledge gives you awareness meditation gives you understanding or comprehension now you understand the working knowledge of that principle behind what you have read most believers don't meditate unfortunately did you know that most of the world religions encourage meditation even though they have the way they do it but people sit down and meditate until their bodies their uh, what they call it now their spirits leave their bodies believers don't meditate how in the world are you going to study a scripture when you are running to go and get some food in the kitchen and you are just your bible is on your hand and you quickly come back and you just say i finished it at least i finished one chapter now you look for one three verse or four verse chapter in psalms and just read it and just breeze it over and contained in it is the power to set you free let me tell you the power of meditation all the disciples came to check for the resurrected jesus and they did not see him in a hurry they ran back yet he was there but a woman came and she looked at the tomb it was empty and she refused to go she stood at the garden there and she kept looking she kept looking looking at the tomb all of a sudden she saw two angels and he said this jesus began to talk to her it took staying there to see the disciples came and they just looked and ran back but the woman stayed there stayed there 
until she saw. Meditation means to stay till you see. God, I've listened to many messages about finances. I've listened to many messages about spiritual power, about the gifts of the spirit. But there has to be something I do not understand. Open my eyes. Now the spirit of God can refer you to a message that you will listen to that will buttress on that point. At the end of it, you say, this is it. By the next time you go for a meeting, it will be as if you put a charm in your pocket. There will be such manifestation of the power of God because you have found it. Someone prophesy, I will find it. In the name of Jesus. The mystery that connects your today and your tomorrow, you will find it. In meditation, as you are meditating. Give the Holy Spirit a chance to show you things that can change your life. Give the Holy Spirit a chance to show you things that can turn your life around. Most believers are lazy. Meditation is a labor dimension of faith. You will take out time and sit down and think. The psalmist will usually say sila. Sila means stop and ponder and think. I've taught you here that there are times you can listen to a message of one hour for six hours. Because you are stopping after five minutes. What did he just say? And you have to look for another scripture and look at it and repeat again until your spirit hears something. I pray for someone as you begin to meditate. May you hear what others did not hear. May you see what others did not see. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are we together? Number three. Are you ready now? The third step to manifesting Bible faith is the power of prayer. Prayer. Mark eleven twenty four. You cannot divorce Bible faith with prayer. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, not if you pray, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Prayer. You've studied the word. You've understood it. And many times you see, prayer is like salt. You, are ne- you, don't, you don't really pray too early or too late. Any part of the faith equation, you can water it down just like salt. If you cook with a salty water, the food will not go bad. Just because it's a salty water. If you forget to add salt at the end of the cooking, you can still put the salt. Prayer is like that. So from the beginning of your study, you can start praying. Even while meditating, you can start praying. And then you can allocate a proper time for prayer. Let me tell you how to pray this kind of prayer. You see, when you are praying the kind of prayer that produces faith, you have to pray in line with the area or the issue where you are trusting God to see results in. Are we together? Yes. Aside from praying in tongues, you can now pray in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, this grace for favor is coming upon me. I'm studying favor. I know that I need it. I've found out the necessity for favor in my life. I've studied it. I've studied materials. And you are praying. Your mind is on the idea of prayer while favor while you are praying. Believers don't pray. Or we pray amiss. Remember what I taught you about territorial dominion? Evil will continue when you leave it. When you see signs of hatred, it's already that favor is not there. Don't sit down and be hoping that they will start. Which one is easier? To lend favor or pray that the manager will be sacked. Let the principles of favor and stay there. What if the, the person who hates you is the owner of the company? When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Please don't downplay what you are learning today. The favor of God upon your life. All of a sudden you come to a place and you, you see that God himself begins to open doors for you. Your life becomes an expression of the mercy and the grace of God. And people will come to meet you and say, how come this is happening? You will tell them it's the grace of God. But you will explain to them too that I can show you there is a way. There is a way the favor of God can come upon a man. 
Many of us here are in need of that grace for favor. It is clear. Everybody say prayer. So we're exploring the keys to Bible faith. Number one, knowledge, light. Number two, meditation. Number three, prayer. Please invest time praying. You're not going to have strong faith without a rich and a robust prayer life. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Take out time to pray. Use your night if God grants you that grace. Most people are busy in the day, except if you dedicate the day for a retreat. Use your night and pray. While you are praying, every unbelief is giving way, and now you can trust God. Number four, are you ready? The fourth key to releasing Bible faith is word based confession. Word based confessions. Psalm 107 and verse 2. Let's hurry up, please. Psalm 107 and verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. The first instruction is say. The second instruction is don't say what you want. Say what he said. Say so means repeat as you have heard. Homologio. Confess. Repeat as you have heard. Let the redeemed of the Lord say I am redeemed. Let the blessed of the Lord say I am blessed. Let the lifted of the Lord say I am lifted. So you don't just talk. Your words become a Bible based confession if it is in line with what God has said. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Exalted by the Spirit of God. According to Deuteronomy 28 1 and 2. Are we together now? You have to believe this by the power of the Spirit. That in the name of Jesus, no divination and enchantment. I don't know about you, but about me, no divination. Surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, they will scatter as soon as they gather. You are in ministry, you better know this. Because I tell you sincerely, it is only God when we get to heaven that you will see the amount of divinations and enchantments daily over your life. May no evil come near your dwelling. In one minute while you are seated, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare everything you know the word says about you. Don't think this is a childish act in the spirit. Speak. I am the head and in the name of Jesus I am not the tail. Above and not beneath. Gentiles come to my light. Kings to the brightness of my rising. In the name of Jesus Christ. I grow in wisdom. I grow in stature. I grow in favor with God and with man. I spend my life serving the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the fullness of my days I fulfill. A thousand shall fall by my side. Someone speak. Ten thousand by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Pray. O oh, dead, where is your sting? O oh, grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus Christ, immune from the scorching tongues of men, I go from glory to glory, praise to praise. In the name of Jesus, I am like a well watered garden planted in the house of God. Therefore, I flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, I am fat and flourishing. Someone prophesy. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endures forever. Speak over your body. I walk in health. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, longevity is my portion. Hallelujah. Five. The third step to releasing Bible faith is actions of obedience. Please underline that one. This is a major requirement if it is to be called Bible faith. In addition to knowledge, in addition to meditation that produces understanding, in addition to prayer, addition to confession, your faith should not just stop with confession. This is the major challenge of Pentecostals and Charismatics. We have defined the entire scope of acting upon the word to just speech. It does not end in speaking. There is a doing. Actions of obedience. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. Just write it for reference. It says, It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do. Take note. To observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above the nations of the earth too and this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. There is the doing of faith. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. Then he says, But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You see your mouth, you see meditation. Now he says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success. John 13 and verse 17 Final scripture for that point John 13 and verse 17 If ye know these things Happy are ye If ye do them The doing part is where many believers Miss it out On the, on the, the equation of faith Most believers do not do haven't heard, received instructions We do not do The Holy Ghost speaks to you, you do not do Scripture speaks to you, there is no doing And every time there is no doing You do not commit God To perform Bishop Oedeko says Faith is not just saying what God has said Faith is doing What God has said The, the demands That commit his integrity to perform for instance, you want to prosper. You are finding out the secret of kingdom prosperity. Now you've learned God has spoken about giving and all of that. It does not just stop in giving alone. There is a place of diligence and value and productivity. Now you are a giver. You've given tithe. You've given offerings. But you are not productive. You are going to be poor. Believe me, at best you will struggle. You will just have one time breakthroughs that come. But you cannot perpetuate wealth that way. A diligent hand shall be made fat. Are we together? Yeah. Number six. Am I right on that? The sixth key to producing Bible faith is thanksgiving. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Thanksgiving. Do not downplay this principle. It is powerful. Thanksgiving. Be anxious for nothing. The word careful there. I'm repeating this because I want you to learn. My, my intent is for you to get knowledge. Be careful or anxious really for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Someone shout thank you Jesus. Thank you. One more time say thank you Jesus. Thank you. Can I tell you this? Thanksgiving is proof of faith knowing that the god you are praying to is a god of integrity and the god of ability you can thank him even in advance lord i thank you because i know you always hear me jesus prayed jesus prayed father i thank you at the tomb of lazarus will thanksgiving be the right thing to do at the tomb of a man who had died three days father i thank you because you always hear me when Jesus was about to distribute bread,
bread, to multiply bread. The Bible says he lifted it and he gave thanks. Thanksgiving is a mystery that multiplies. Everything you thank God for cannot remain at the level that it was as at the time you were thanking him. The last key, and then we'll wrap up. The last key that activates Bible believing faith is patience. Patience. Hebrews 6, 12. Patience. Hmm. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Faith with patience. 